Hello everyone, this is Ashley Dupre, and today I am today we're doing the fourth installment of the cipher series. Today we're talking about columnar transposition ciphers. Transposition ciphers. Um, this is another transposition cipher, like the uh, like the last episode. So I will put an annotated uh, thumbnail at the end of the video that you can click, and it'll also be in the description. So columnar transpos position how to encrypt using columnar transposition we'll take the message this is an example with the key ytube um, I, the reason I didn't you just do YouTube for the key was because you can't have a key that has multiple of the same letter and you, the word U has a U in it and the word tube has a U in it so I can't do that your key has to be all unique letters because you write that on the top or I wrote that on the top and then <clears throat> you write, uh, you l number the letters. So B alphabetically, you number the letters alphabetically. So B is one, E is two, because it's the next alphabetically. Then the next one is all the way up at T, which is three, U is four, and Y is five, because alphabetically B, E, T, U, Y would be the correct way, the correct right way of saying it. Next you fill in the message uh, like in a right I mean left to right and then down then left to right and then down and then left to right and then down into the table so T we're doing this as an example as our message so T I S T H I S this and I just made all the letters capital for easier reading T A T H I S A N E X A M P L E, and then the Z's are just to fill in the rest of the table. If you don't add the extra Z's or X's or what Q's or whatever you want to use as uh, void letters, then it won't make. It'll be really. It, it's a lot harder to decrypt for the person that is receiving the message. Next, you want to write the uh, letters in their alphabetical column. So this is S-A-Z, is the column. This is why it's called columnar transposition. So we take the column for the first B is one. So we take S-A-Z and put it here. And then two A-M-Z, put it there. Three is over here, H-E-L, put it there. I-X-E is the fourth one, put that there. And T-N-P is the fifth one, so put that there. Now, to decrypt, what we need is the message, which is S A Z A M Z H E L I X E T N P with the key YouTube, or YTube, I mean. So then we write down YTube 53412, and then uh, I color coded it one to one. So after writing that out, we need to fill in everything under one with S A Z, everything under two with. Uh, Oh, if you're wondering how I, uh, how you figured out how wide and deep it is, that's because each of these chunks has uh, three letters in it, so that means it's three deep, and because the co the key has five long, it means it's five wide. So then you just fill the letters in. For, so in column one we need S A Z, in column two we need A M Z, in column three we need H E L, in I X E, and then T N P. So that's very simple, and then you can just read it from left to right again. That is how to do columnar transposition, and I look forward to seeing you in the next installment. Uh, click, click here to view the first one, Intro to Ciphers, the second one where we covered Visioneer Cipher, and the last one, which you definitely need to check out, is the Transposition Ciphers, because that is <coughs> what this is, is a Transposition Cipher. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and uh, be sure to comment a cipher that you would like to be explained that you know of, and or any ideas for ciphers that you've had that I can explain on here how they would work. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.